All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Off Axis Builds. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be putting in a window regulator in the passenger door. The driver's side door is going to be identical. The only thing is, it's going to be the opposite. I'll show you the part numbers I got for these in a minute here. Uh, after pulling off the passenger door, I found out that there was no rust on it, so I, I got lucky on that one. The only part I found rust was on the hinges, so I'm going to. Um, repair some of those areas uh, but as far as the door goes uh, it's ready to get put back together sand it down ready for paint uh, so tonight we're going to be putting in um, the window regulator on it and what I did was I went with a 69 uh, regulator instead of the 68 because 68 and older um, it was a single track regulator and uh, that allowed the window to kind of rock as it's going up and not really fit solid. Um, it's not a big deal if you have the wing window in there, but I went with a solid window. So going to this one, it's supposed to help uh, hold the window as it's going up and make a smooth uh, transition all the way through. I'm not going to put the window in tonight. Um, that'll be last after I get the car painted. So let's go ahead and dive in, see what we have and uh, for part numbers and see what we have to install. Remember guys to always like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell to uh, receive notifications on my newest videos. Alright guys, let's check it out. Alright guys, so we're going to be removing these uh, two piece of windows, uh, removing the vent and the single window and replacing it with one solid window. Um, Real easy to do. You basically need a 10 millimeter uh, socket wrench and a Phillips uh, screwdriver. Uh, so, what you're going to want to do is uh, take out the sash all the way around. That will allow you to get some play in the window. Then, you're going to want to bring the window all the way down into the door so you can get these bottom pieces out. Now save those pieces because there's some clips on there. I'm gonna see if I can try to reuse those on um, the single um, window that I'm putting in because I've heard and I've actually had a square back that had this issue where uh, those sashes um, did not want to stay and every time you roll the window up they'd come up with the window. It was you know just a pain. So um, I'm gonna see if I can try to reuse them. If not, um, I'll glue them on. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and lower the window all the way down and then we're going to want to get into um, these two bolts right here that are holding on the window. Take them completely out, okay? Uh, save the nuts because we're going to put the bracket back on the other window, okay? So let's go ahead and get this thing lowered down. Alright guys, so I don't have my window cranks installed right now. I pulled the whole door panel off. Um, I didn't show how to pull the door panel off. It's really simple. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of uh, holes. Those clip, uh, there's clips that slide into those holes. Very simple. Um, so you just want to pull the, the door panel off, get to all this stuff. Uh, if you have your window crank, great. Uh, go ahead and crank your window down. So you can remove it and then uh, we're going to go ahead and remove these guys and uh, those two.
So now I have all of this cleared out. Uh, now you can remove this window. It's basically just going to pull it right out of the hole that it's supposed to slide up in usually. Okay. Now, this piece right here, we're going to save for the new glass. Because that's what we're going to need to attach to the, uh, the framing. Alright guys, so this is what I was talking about, how it has two tracks that move up and down. Um, this was, uh, I believe I purchased by uh, J-Bugs, uh, is who I purchased this from. I got the MP track to go on it. Uh, the MP window track it actually just mounts on those, so it allows it to go up and down smoothly. Uh, the stock one, let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is what you have all the way up if you don't have nice new bushings in here and, and all that. Uh, that's okay because when it's going up, you usually have the two channels to follow through. But being that, like I said, I removed uh, the wing window, I'm going with the solid window. This just doesn't give enough support for that extra window. Whereas this, oops, it's upside down. This one will allow the window to be solid all the way up. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we have to do to remove this guy and install this guy. First off, before I do that, this is the part number for uh, the driver's side, or excuse me, passenger side. So you guys can get that, okay? And then uh, this will be the number for the driver's side, okay? And again, that was purchased by uh, or through J Bugs. Okay, so it looks like I probably need a 10 millimeter. Get those two off, this one off. I think that's it. It looks like there might be another screw up here. Okay, so this has a screw and I may need to drill through and put another screw up there. But I think that's the only difference. There's a hole right here for a uh, screw to go through. So I don't have that one. I'm going to have to get a, uh, another screw for that, which I have a bucket of bolts. So I'll see what I can find.
slot is going to slide on both sides of this uh, railing here. It's going to look something like that. Okay. So that's that it's in there you can saw it this thing's pretty steady compared to that other one that was shaking all over the place so that should be a great window sash for uh, or railing or whatever you want to call it for a full solid window all right All right, guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Off Axis Builds. Uh, that window regulator took me about 10 minutes to install. Uh, really easy. Um, you need a uh, quarter 28 uh, bolts for it and uh, to reuse uh, what you can of the old system. Um, so remember, guys, to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that little bell at the bottom to uh, see future uh, notifications of upcoming videos. All right, guys, remember it's built, not bought.